Now, in both of these cases where we've used find, we've um, it's been able to find it. So in this case, it found Waldo. In this case, it found dragons. What happens if it doesn't find it, right? So let's say that we're looking for dogs. And we say, find that, and let's put fiery in front of dogs. So let's run it now. What happens? Now we're getting an exception. So here what's happened is it's thrown an exception, um, an, an out of range exception. And this has to do with what is returned by find when it doesn't find it. So we know that when it finds it, it actually returns the position, right? The index of that character where it began, where that first character began in that string that we're sending it. But what does it return if it doesn't find it anything? So if it gets all the way to the end of the string, it knows it's at the end of the string, then what's it going to return? Well, what it returns is, <clears throat> it's, an in, it's, a, it's still of size type, but now it's actually um, a value that indicates it isn't done. And this is um, a static member variable that belongs to the string class. And what a static member variable is, is that it belongs to all strings. So notice that this particular string story contains these characters, right? But that's only this string. And then if we had another string, it would contain other characters. And we could have 15 strings and they would each have their own set of characters. But uh, every string object has access to static variables. And there only has to be one of them. And the val this one is the string, um, and the way you access it is with those two um, colons, right? String, colon, colon, and now we're going to say what value is it in its n position, or not a position. And that's the value that's returned. It's actually, you can go look at the documentation, it's actually a negative one, which is something you very likely have used before as a return value to indicate you didn't find what you're looking for or you, so for some reason you need to return an integer. And, uh, and so, but it's a constant. So it's a constant that belongs to all string objects. So I don't have to do it just on story. I can just say, oh, the string class, this static very value and position. So we can ask the question, we can say if, so if position, or if, um, yeah, position is equal to this value, then we don't want to do it, right? When we want to do it is if it's not equal. So in this case, we want to say, boy, if it's not equal, then go ahead and um, do this insert. Okay, so if it's not equal to that, whatever it is. What, or if it's not equal to this no position. Well, let's run that and see what happens. And now we don't get that exception, Yahoo! Uh, but we also don't get any change. Like Fiery wasn't inserted anywhere because what happened is they didn't find dogs. When it didn't find it, it returned that no position value and stored it there. And so we test it. If it's equal, if it's not equal to that, then insert this. If it is, then do. So we can go back to dragons, and in fact, okay, so we go back to dragons and we do it. Now when it comes back, it's going to return a value rather than no position because it found it. So there it is. So it found it and now it did the insert. So it's important to know that when you're using find, and it doesn't matter where you're using it up here, it would be the same thing. If it doesn't find it, it's going to return this value, no position. Now remember that I said that this is a static value, right? It's a, um, data, a data member, actually it's a constant in the string class, and all strings have access to it. And in fact, you have access to it when you don't even have a string object, but all string objects have access to it too. So another way that I could access this is with my string. I could do story, no, no position. And then I get that same value, but using it all with that string, because all strings have access to it as well. And so I can, two different ways that I can use that same position. But if you're going to be using that value later, um, the, the value you get returned from find, then you want to protect it uh, to make sure that it doesn't throw an exception in your program.